I am Grace Conley, a 15-year-old sophomore at Science Leadership Academy. My name is Esneen Khan. My name is Ruby Ginsburg. My name is Karen Osowski. My name is Octavian A. Davis. My name is Sarah T. Son. My name is Carlos T. Jesus. I'm Simone Cruz Barnett. My name is New. I'm a student attending at Science Leadership Academy in Philadelphia. Hype means healthy you, positive energy. I'm a registered dietitian. I work for the Philadelphia School District's Eat Right Now program as a program coordinator. Ja Kyung, um, Ta Young um, live under hype lifestyle because um, my hype ba Kyung jo jet um nyam balai hai um nyam la o at I um Young um on Kyung hai Kyung um nyam at la o de. I think my family's diet is pretty hype promoting. Um, we try to pay a lot of attention to where our food is coming from and what the ingredients are and how it's prepared. Um, we eat a lot of salads and vegetables and avocado. Um, recently, I've been really into avocados. Um, so I've been bringing avocados into the office with lime. So I just like make a little thing, like if I have a salad or if I have noodles or whatever. I just feel like avocado goes very well with all of it, so I'll just cut it up, you know, squeeze some lime onto it, and just eat it. So, yeah, I would say that my diet is pretty healthy. My diet is pretty healthy, I would say. I mean, 99% of the time I drink water. I hardly ever drink soda. If I do, I could count it with one hand how many times I do in a year. Um, I try to limit, like, my salt intake, sugar intake. Oh. Like a chizu was swema, zama, more of that, of zoo, zama for and run, hunger toll was chiu, for a fruit, a siat parahe. Philadelphia is a very culturally diverse city, and a large part of somebody's culture is the foods that they eat. And people can still maintain the core principles of their culture and just make small modifications to make it a healthier diet. So growing up uh, Taiwanese, we view food as a very big contributor to your health. Um, what you eat can contribute to your overall body's balance. Being as well, I'm Puerto Rican, a lot of our traditional cooking consists of like fried food, tortones, platano, pollo frito, a whole bunch of other things that sometimes aren't the healthiest for you, but I'm trying to eat and consume those things more in moderation. And um, my kyum at jojot um yung nyam pai rol tngai um because we're at la all. The younger people in my family don't typically live a high lifestyle. It's not that they can't. I just think they just like don't know how. And I'm glad to show them. That. And it's interesting how. When you think about balancing the body, the things that you would adjust in your diet to maintain that balance are things that you wouldn't want to eat in excess anyways, any sort of junk foods. Eating healthy foods has a bigger impact on a child beyond just preventing chronic diseases and managing weight. It can actually have an impact on their behavior, on their academic performance in school, on their mental health. Um, personally, I try to eat a salad every day for lunch, and uh, my whole family uh, tries its best to have all the key nutrients we need in every meal, so I would say overall our diets are pretty hype promoting. Um, I enjoy cooking, so I like to prepare uh, my own meals and have those sort of have that personal touch. Um, I consider my parents' lifestyle to be different from mine and my sister's lifestyle mostly because they're more of the ones that do the exercise and eat healthy, while me and my sister, we just eat whatever in the fridge. And when we look at the foods that children are eating and you look at, say, candy versus a piece of fruit, they both have sugar, but they behave differently in your body. I maintain a pretty healthy diet. That doesn't mean that I don't eat any junk food. Like, I like my chocolate once in a while, but I like to keep it in moderation. Pero, me and my hermana, we eat whatever we find in the street, like McDonald's or Burger King. No, nothing doesn't matter.
But your body will respond differently than if you're eating just a simple sugar from candy. So we really encourage students to reward themselves by eating the fruit versus the candy because they're really going to reap the benefits from the fruit. My diet consists of, or I try to make it consist of, fruits, vegetables, home-cooked meals that are not uh, pre-packaged um, or that are not uh, processed. Uh, I recently actually became a pescatarian, so I, I would say I generally eat a vegetarian diet, but sometimes I have some fish. My family's diet consists of eggs, cheese, vegetarian meats, fruits, vegetables, and salads, but we do allow ourselves to indulge in the sweet things every once in a while. And I do believe that this should be promoted by HAPE because when we eat, what we're looking for is to be healthy and happy. Understanding the implication of not eating healthy and really looking at what the consequences are. Uh, you're putting yourself at risk for type 2 diabetes, heart disease. These are real diseases that even children are getting now. To be completely honest, my family is their diet is kind of, or our diet is kind of complicated. Uh, we are a poor family, so it's more of just whatever we can afford. Um, yeah, it's like really whatever we can afford when we go to the store. And if I could just send one message home, it would be to really encourage people to eat more vegetables. I think that's the one area that people fall short on, and the health benefits of eating more fruits and vegetables are really tremendous. I like to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. On a regular basis, I try to make sure that I have a lot of vegetables, whole grains, and very nutritious, vitamin-rich foods in my diet. Somebody does not live a hype lifestyle. It's very stressful, and I'm the only one out of the family that tries to eat well, but you know, it doesn't always go you know, as planned.